Hi everyone, Sophie here, and welcome to my channel, Sophie's Hamsters, where I make hamster videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. I'm going to be using Quora to find some interesting hamster questions and reacting to them. So the first question is, my five-year-old son's hamster died. Should I buy a replacement and not tell him? And I really like the answer to this one. If your five-year-old son died at school in kindergarten, would you want his teachers to tell you he's dead or just send home a replacement and not tell you? So I think this is a really good answer to this one because, like, I would want to know if my pet died, even though I'd be sad, I'd still want to know that it died and not just have a different pet that I think is the same pet. So here's our next question. My child put our hamster in the blender. Should I take away their bed privileges as a punishment? Um, why did he put the hamster in the blender is my first question. Uh, I think you should know better than to put a hamster in the blender. Um, but anyway, I think you should take away, like, TV or toys or something because when I was little I would have been kind of happy to get my bed taken away because I would have thought I didn't have to go to sleep then because I used to hate going to sleep when I was little like if I was told I could read one book I would hide another one behind it just so I could stay up later <laughs> so I don't know why your kid is putting the hamster in the blender that's just terrible but I'd pick something else. Don't take away the bed. So our next question is, why is my hamster always running on its wheel and how can I get it to stop? And I liked the answer for this one. I just took part of it, but in the wild, hamsters run many miles slash kilometers each night. Long distance running is normal. And that's true. I think I've heard hamsters in the wild would run like five miles a night sometimes to get food. And the wheel is there to run on, so you shouldn't really be stopping your hamster from running on it if that's what it wants to do. You can try to give it other activities to do if you think it's running too much, but if it likes to run, it likes to run. So the next question, what does a hamster that only eats apples need? A hamster that eats only apples is concerning. Hamsters are omnivores. Yeah, so a hamster that only eats apples needs a lot of other foods besides apples, like a normal food mix, other protein stuff, and vegetables. And I don't know how your hamster only eats apples. Okay, next question. My hamster sneaks into my bed covers at night when I'm sleeping. How do I prevent this? <laughs> I'm not really sure how your hamster manages this isn't it supposed to be in its cage um but I put it in a cage and put a lid on the cage and that should keep it from coming into your bed the next question is just should I beat my hamster when he chews on the bars at night no you should not that'll probably kill it and it's probably chewing on the bars when it's bored so you should probably give it some other things to do why would you beat your hamster that's not good i really like this next question it's are hamsters made of ham what about guinea pigs no they're not hamsters are actually called hamsters because they come from the german word hamstern which means to hoard and hamsters hoard food so that's why they're called hamsters so I wasn't completely sure if I wanted to include this question in the video, but I figured it'd be a good point to talk about of what to do if you don't want your hamster anymore or can't take care of it. So the question is, what is a humane way to get rid of a hamster without spending money? And the answer is, put it into a secure container. It can't escape or chew. Air holes aren't necessary. Put it in the freezer and stay out of there for at least 12 hours. It'll die of hypothermia long before it will run out of air. So if you want to get rid of your hamster, you should not kill it. This, if there's nothing wrong with it, there's no reason to kill it. And if there is something wrong with it, 
there might not be a reason to kill it either. It depends. But you should either sell it on like Craigslist or Facebook, ask a friend or somebody you know if they want it, or put it up for adoption somewhere. It's not okay to kill it just because you don't want it anymore, so there isn't really a humane way to get rid of it if you mean by killing it because if it doesn't need to die, like if it's not so sick or something that it would just be suffering, it's not okay to just kill it because you don't want it anymore. And the person answering this question, that's also terrible because you should be telling this person not to kill it, not a way to kill it. So this is just one of those questions where you just can't believe people sometimes. So this next question, I plan to steal a hamster from PetSmart. Do you think they would catch me after I leave the store? Um, I don't think you would get to leave the store because they'd catch you before that. Unless you're planning to break in in the middle of the night to steal a hamster, they're gonna catch you in daylight. And let me tell you a few reasons why this just wouldn't work. Reason one, security cameras. I'm pretty sure PetSmart has security cameras, so they're probably going to catch you leaving the store with an unpaid hamster. Or if you get out there, they'll probably catch you a few seconds after. Reason two, I'm sure PetSmart keeps an inventory on like how many pets they have. So if one is just missing and hasn't been paid for, they're going to notice. I guess I don't know if they'd be able to catch you if you're already gone, but they're going to at least know it's missing. And then if you ever go back there again, they might know that it's you who took the hamster. I'm not really sure how that works, but I think you're going to have trouble with this. Reason three is the locked cages. PetSmart does keep their cages locked, I'm pretty sure anyway. So you're going to have to somehow unlock it in order to get a hamster out. And I don't know how you're going to do that, but I don't think it's really worth it. So then the last reason I'm going to list, I'm sure there's many more by this wouldn't work, but unless you're going to have a carrier of some sort or get yourself one of those cardboard carriers that they come in, um, someone's going to notice you just walking out of the store holding a hamster. And so, yeah, I don't know if they'd be able to catch you after you leave, but you're not going to be able to leave because they're going to catch you before you leave. So next we have... What animals can survive on just eating air, like a hamster? So, try having nothing to eat or drink for a few days and see how it will go. That's the same thing for all living animals. They need food and drink. So, I don't know where you get that a hamster can survive on just eating air. Air isn't something you eat. It's something you breathe. Um, you need things to eat and drink. Even hamsters do. So, I don't know who taught you that some animals survive on just eating air, but you're going to have a lot of trouble finding an animal that can do this. This question just kind of confuses me on, like, how this person figured that a hamster can just eat air and survive. So, I'm pretty sure the answer to this question is just kind of a joke, but I thought it was just kind of funny. So, what can hamsters eat besides hamster food? The answer, fries. Yeah, guys, so today, go over to McDonald's and just buy your hamster a large fry. They're going to love it so much. It's so good for them. Do it, okay? No, never do this. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. So what can hamsters actually eat besides hamster food? Um, they can eat fruits, vegetables, some treats, and other human foods, some insects, um, uncooked chicken, or not uncooked, unseasoned chicken or beef. Just if you want to find this out, look it up somewhere else. Don't try to get an answer on Quora. You'll just end up with something like fries. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's different than the hamster care videos I usually do, but I do plan to maybe do a couple more videos of this type sometimes, but let me know if you enjoyed this or not. Um, I really hope I mean, I think, and hopefully some of those hamster questions were trolls, like about putting hamsters in the blender, that sort of thing. If not, I'm so sorry for the hamster, and some of these people should never be owning a pet again. 
So I'll see you guys next time and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.